Hey guys, so the new Aura Ring app has just been released and this is not an update, this is a totally new uh, rebuilt from the ground up apparently app. So um, I thought I would, it's available in the app store for, for Aura Ring users now, like it was released a few hours ago. Um, so I've downloaded it and uh, I thought I'd have a quick play around, um, show you my first impressions and uh, for those of you Obviously, if you have your own O-ring, go download the app and play around with it yourself. But if you don't have the O-ring, maybe you're uh, looking at getting one, you've been researching it, um, or you've already pre-ordered the new Gen 2 ring and you're excited to see what the new app and everything looks like, then um, hopefully this video will show you a bit of insight. Um, I do have a few other O-ring videos, so make sure you check them out as well if you want to know more about the ring itself. But yeah, I'll try to keep this short. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna literally play around with the app and um, yeah, go from there. So first things you notice, uh, for those users who have used the app before, you'll notice that it's a completely different interface. It's got a new look and everything, all right? So when you open that, the app, I've synced my app, uh, my ring. So it's currently 9.30 in the morning here um, and I synced my ring a few hours ago. So it's given me my readiness score for today. Uh, 73 which is up there at the top and then it shows my sleep down the bottom there uh, eight and a half hours so yeah I mean straight away the the whole dashboard the screen is, is very different it's got a new look and feel to it um, as I scroll down uh, so it's got my walking target or activity target it was 9.2 kilometers for the day and then down the bottom here this is pretty neat this is a very new feature uh, it's got my optimal bedtime is between nine o'clock and ten o'clock so um, yeah, that, that's new, that wasn't in the previous app, and that was, I think this is the start of what the Aura team have been saying, like how the, the new app and the new ring is going to be more, um, give you more analytics and, and more information. Uh, rather than just feedback, it's going to help you, you know, adjust activity, training, sleep, recovery, um, based on the data it's getting. So, you know, it's going to help with chronotype. Uh, giving you uh, obviously the ideal bedtime. Hopefully it will give more recommendations in future editions um, But this is the first thing that I've noticed here. So that's uh, that's typically when I try to go to bed at the moment um, If I scroll back up here, yeah, see I went to bed at t or went to sleep at 10 o'clock woke up at 730 um, But that's cool. I'm looking forward to seeing more stuff like that. So um, what else do we see on the front screen? We've got the menu on the top left, which we'll go into soon and then we've got the Bluetooth uh, connection on the right so my ring is currently off so uh, what else oh we got the plus symbol down the bottom right here so this has notes and activity so activity I'm assuming will be similar to the previous app where you can go in and add strength training and, and all your other activities so that's cool the note is a new function as well so um, this is where you can add personal notes like I don't know, tried a new supplement or something like that. And then I've got default or predetermined notes here as well. So I'm not 100% sure how all this is going to work. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that they will take this data and take these notes or tags and then you'll be able to draw correlations and see trends and see that, you know, on days you've hit uh, the alcohol tab, um, you know, it, it comes up saying your sleep's worse or your readiness is worse. Just like we saw at the home screen there where it said, you know, you know, your optimal bedtime. Imagine if you could input all those tags and data and over time it, it came out saying, look, whenever you don't drink coffee, your, you know, your sleep is better or something like that. That'd be cool. That, that's what I've been wanting for a long time, two years. Uh, you can go back and check my original review and I'll, I've been screaming for this sort of stuff. So I'm hoping that's what it is. At the moment, I've played around with this app for a bit. Um, so this isn't my very first time in the app. So I couldn't see any correlation data with those apps, uh, sorry, with those tags or notes. So I'm just hoping that this will come in, in future updates. Cause I do know they wanted to get this app out, but it's not, you know, they've got a lot of ideas and, and features in the pipeline in the works. And then on the bottom left, we have the calendar button. So I'm gonna hit that now. And this shows, it gives you an overview uh, of your data. So um, three dots must be sleep, activity, and readiness. And I think the crown is awarded when, I might be wrong on this, but it's something to do with when your score is above 85. So, um, you know, today, 26, I got one 
one dot is highlighted because my sleep was 86 um, out of 100, but my other scores weren't. Whereas if I go back to a day where I, on the 10th, um, yeah, my readiness is 90, sleep is 88, as you can see down the bottom there on the left. Um, so that was why I would have got the two dots. Whereas on the 9th, it was obviously a bad day. Yeah, readiness was below 85, sleep below 85, and activity must have been below 85. So that's, um, yeah, a new feature as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I it's cool. It's a nice little feature. Um, it'd be, yeah, I mean, I'm not too excited. Like, I mean, it's, it's nothing revolutionary. It's just I give you a bit of an overlay, uh, overview of everything uh as as the days and weeks have been going by but so that's cool it's a nice little addition uh i guess you can see how many crowns you've got this month has actually been pretty bad compared to say march where nearly every day was a crown day um but yeah anyway that's cool um what else so we'll go back to today uh and so you see that all the little comments and stuff are a little bit different as well um so it's good it's, it's a good refresh uh, so now I'm going to go into the sleep. I'll click the sleep sleep data here, and you'll see that the um, this new circular uh, display is a little bit different. I mean, well, this is new. It wasn't in the previous app. So it's got my sl score at the top. It's got my sleep duration in the middle. It's got my resting heart rate beneath that, 52. It's got uh, when I fell asleep, which is 10 o'clock, and then time in bed. And I'm assuming that's what that blue line is in the inner circle there. And then as the night went on, you can see um, when I woke up with those thin little white lines. And then it's got here, I got an hour, five minutes of deep sleep, a little bit less than I need. Exercise could help it. And then, yeah. Oh, okay. So now I click that again. And then this takes me into what is for users of the older app. This is what they'd be familiar with, um, you know, these chart type graphs. Uh, obviously, all the colors have changed. It was purple. Now, it's, they've gone shades of blue. Uh, so, we've got a day here. I just yeah, so this day, uh, 92 sleep score. You can see all the data, sleep duration, total bedtime, all that cool stuff that the other apps have had. And as I've, or the previous version I had, as I pre uh, scroll down, you see, again, you're seeing it's it's like similar data what, to what they had in the other app. It's just laid out differently. Um, it's going to take a while for people that were familiar with the old app to get used to it because it's a whole new, like there's new ways to access data and new settings and everything, new colors. Um, I think you can click on each thing. Yeah, so I just clicked on deep sleep, <coughs> excuse me. It gives you an overview of what's good and what's bad. Uh, so that's cool. And then it's giving you those graphs. So if I find a day that wasn't great, um, here we go. So there it's, it's saying it's got the red zone or the orange zones. Uh, yeah, as I didn't hit good numbers so uh, all that's very cool and then as we come down we've got the sleep stages which we, which users of the other app will be familiar with so you can see what was happening throughout the night it's given a breakdown 13 percent deep sleep 55 light 32 ram uh and then as i scroll down further this is all in the sleep menu you've got your resting heart rate throughout the night in a graph so that's the sleep screen uh when i go back here I can then click on activity and see all the details around activity. I'm not going to go into, into this because it's already gone longer. This video has already gone longer than I thought. Um, but yeah, activity can't do too much extra there. Oh, I can click on it. Yeah, and I can see activity throughout the month. Um, so my calories burnt, walking equivalent steps uh and then the details around that so i'm not the best with activity that's why they're so red and my scores aren't the best uh frequency recovery time and then your intensity again this is in the other apps just completely changed the layout and everything um so that's cool and then we'll have a quick look at readiness so when i go into the readiness here you've got your two bar your bar and your graph so you've got the readiness bar and then the rest in heart rate um graph as well one thing I've noticed though, I turn this to landscape mode and it doesn't change. I thought like if I turned it, all the grass would expand, but unfortunately not. Um, so yeah, you can see your quick stats here. So if I go to today, rest and heart rate overnight was 52, HRV was 62, it's a bit lower. Um, res respiration rate 16, body temperature is up a little bit on baseline. Readiness score was 73. I actually did a lot of um, work yesterday. On the farm, chopping wood and firewood and stuff, so that's why my numbers are probably a little bit off. Um, 
yeah, and then you got all your stats. And now the cool thing is you can see your nighttime HRV in the app. I don't know if that was in the previous version. I think you had to go into the cloud to see that. So you can see your HRV overnight, uh, your max and your average, and then you can see your rest and heart rate. So yeah, if you're looking at like, you know, geeking out on your data overnight, you can do it all from the app now. But even better than that, for those of you who've watched my video on the cloud, you'd see how much data you get, which is really, really cool. Um, they've now incorporated a lot of that data into the app. So when I go into the trend screen, this is where it gets really cool. So I can say, I don't know, bedtime start. And I can see my bedtime start date going back years, literally years. Uh, so that's on a daily trend. And again, it'd be cool to rotate this, but unfortunately you can't. I don't know why that's not a feature. It seems like an obvious one, but maybe they're still working on that. So it's hard to see all the data. I can do weekly trends and then of course, of course, monthly trends. So um, that's cool. And then I can pull up everything like my sleep score over the months and years. Um, I can go readiness, heart rate, variability. Uh, again, you got so much data here. So if you're a data geek, you'll love this. Um, Pull up all sorts of stuff. Now it's not as powerful as the cloud function because in the cloud function with these trends, you can overlay them, you can see so much more data, you can stack graphs um, beneath each other so you can have your activity score a lot next to your sleep score, next to your body temperature score and find correlations in that. So you still really need to go into that um, cloud to do all that sort of stuff and see the really nitty gritty details. Uh, but that's fair enough. I mean, it would be hard to see all this in the app. So, um, yeah, I mean, if anyone has any questions, if obviously if you have the app, go out and download it and play around with it. Uh, if you're waiting to get the uh, your ring and get the new app, then um, feel free to send me a question or comments if you want to see something more in detail. Um, if you're looking at getting the aura ring, you're still undecided, you know, then hopefully this video will help show a little bit more around what you could be buying or get in if you purchase it by the way uh the discount code fergus f-e-r-g-u-s uh is still valid for pre-orders i'm recording this on the 26th of april 2018 um use that code fergus f-e-r-g-u-s and it will save you 75 dollars on the pre-order price until the end of the month so it's like four or five four days away after that it will save you something i think it's 50 dollars after that and then i'm not too sure if you're watching this later on in the year, um, try the code. It will save you something. I just don't know what it will save you. So, yeah, I mean, check that out. Also, check out my other articles on the um, on the Aura Ring, the old one or the Gen 1 Ring and the Gen 2 Ring. Um, i got a bunch of videos on YouTube, so you can check them out. And, uh, yeah, feel free to ask me any questions if you have them. Um, happy to answer them. But, yeah, my first impressions... Uh, it's cool. Yep, there's more data in the app, which is good. The interface has changed. The layout has changed. And, you know, like like any new platform or app update, that change is always, I don't know, it's, it's tough at first because it's so foreign. You're like, oh, I'm used to my old ways. And, you know, whenever Facebook does a massive overhaul and you see all these groups pop up, like fan pages go back to the old system. And then, like, a month later, you can't even remember what the old app or the old platform was like right so I, I think it'll be the same thing here it'll take a while for old users to get used to the new one remember i've been using that old app for two years so it's taken me a while to sort of get used to this but i think new users coming into it without um without any experience with the old app will be like oh this is awesome uh it, it, the color is cool like all the colors are cool it's good to see some new fresh data on there fresh you know recommendations and everything um so yeah, that's all cool. Being able to see all your trends is very cool. Being able to see like more data in each in each um, screen is cool as well. Um, a few limitations though, you know, like the landscape mode. I don't know why that doesn't work, but maybe that's a new feature. Um, seeing the the optimal bedtime, that's cool as well. Your optimal bedtime. So I'm looking forward to them doing more of that, like crunching more of the data. I mean, I got two years worth of ordering data here, so. Um, I'd love to see, you know, what correlations they can draw other than me looking at the graphs themselves. So apparently that's all coming um, in future versions. So hopefully, you know, we get more and more of that. Imagine opening the app and just seeing all these like takeaways, you know, your optimal bedtimes this time, your optimal wake times this time, um, 
your optimal activity target is this. Um, whenever you do this, your deep sleep's higher. You know, imagine seeing all that. That would be cool. Because we know how accurate the ring is for tracking all these metrics. And uh, if you're wearing it every day and having for a while, like there's so much data in there. So that's that's how that's the future i reckon of the well, of the ring like that's that's what i'm hanging out for um so this is i guess a bit of a sneak peek hopefully of, of what's to come with that optimal bedtime recommendation now um hopefully we'll see more and more of that anyway i have gone on too long again it was meant to be a quick video but never seems to be the case when i do video so hopefully that shows you some insight uh if you want to read more about it head over to alexfergus.com I've got two articles on the Aura Ring there. I've got the original review, uh, Aura Ring review. You can just Google that and you'll find that. Um, that's quite long. That goes into the actual ring itself. And then I've got an article, everything you need to know about the new Aura Ring, where I'll publish this video as well. Plus my YouTube channel has got a bunch of videos. So peace out. Uh, if you want to order it, use that code Fergus, if you are US. I do get a cut from that. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to support me, then don't use that code and don't get a discount. So. It's all good. It's up to you. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Bye, guys. Oh, and be sure to subscribe if you like this and give me a thumbs up because, yeah, these things matter. Cheers. Bye.